I'm Travis Volk and I'm here in Homer, Alaska. Just returned back from a 12-day sheep hunt which we concluded in seven days. We headed up into the Chugach Mountains, a restricted access unit since 1975, closed to foot access only. It's known for having great genetics but low sheep density. And what you're going to see in the, as an outcome of this video is something you've never seen before. Saddle up and welcome to the pain game. Second morning, we just got packed up. Beautiful campsite last night. We're getting ready to head back up. Another big day of climbing to get into position for hunting. We have, uh, I actually misspoke yesterday. It was the seventh and today is the eighth. We have one more day of scouting and then the season starts on the 10th. So you can see we're lucking out and getting some great weather. It's absolutely beautiful. Happy to be in Alaska. So we've been making our way around trying to get up back on the back side of this far ridge and uh, Jason spotted four sheep back up in that black cauldron up there. So getting heat mirage, it's hard to tell whether they're rams or not, but it's good, really nice to lay eyes on sheep. About 3.30 on second day after the Jason spotted those rams way up on the face of that bar. Red stuff. We came from way around the corner. Then we're crossing over into another valley right now. Really beautiful. It looks like sheep country. Just a matter of bumping. One thing you may not have thought about was how much sun exposure you can have in a place where there's no trees. But it's a good problem to have. I see about three band of views, which is exciting. And uh, we're starting to get down into a spot that we were wanting to get to. With the exception of having spotted a ram before. <laughs> uh, looks like we're going to stay in Alaska rather than the crossover into Russia. <laughs> no, we've, we've gone a long way, but uh, I think we've got to be getting lucky here soon. It's opening morning and we're just getting out. Uh, sun's up. Had a little rain last night, but we've been really lucky on the weather. So we're moving over into uh, drainage that. The guys have seen rams lots of times in the past, so we're, we got our fingers crossed, but it's opening morning. If we see something today, we should be able to shoot it. So, game on. We may have just spotted our first ram, so we're going to back off and try to get the scope out and get a better look at him. We don't have any visibility into the backside of this. Uh, big gorge so we're gonna try to jump down into the brush to actually hide ourselves and get around and make sure that there aren't additional rams up on this side that are gonna bust us but uh, now that we've spotted something it looks like it's close it's hard to tell from down below but uh, now we just need to work it I guess so good news exciting first morning of hunting season these brushes just ripped my shoelaces off uh, we had to get down into the shrub in order to stay out of sight of that ram. But uh, walking through this stuff is so tiring. I almost slipped through there. That was close, man.
we've we've located two good rams, but uh, now the something I didn't expect is our challenge is that they're so high up on the cliff that we're gonna have to watch them and see what they do and hopefully get into a position where we can try to move in to take a shot because right now even if we could climb down in to get a shot on them there's no way we could recover them so Can you shoot him off at that point there? Yes. Okay, guys, you ready? When he turns... climb and we just knocked down the sheep who knows what it's gonna look like when we get down there it just fell I don't know 4,000 feet thousand feet to I think he fell into that scree slope not too far down so yeah hopefully I've seen some things flying off in the way <laughs> I think that was a rock Dude, <laughs> you guys that was the toughest hike in I've ever had in my life I mean there, there are two other people that I know that could do that we just hiked four days, four days, eight to 12 hours a day with 55 pound packs. Now we gotta try to figure out how to pack out this animal on top of the down here. So, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but it just did. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. When the sheep fell, you know, the unthinkable happened. They actually must have hit a rock just in such a way that a it actually severed his head right off his body and uh, we were able to recover all the meat which is positive. We're gonna hasten things up. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. It looks real good. They're going grill style. Huh? We're gonna try to grill them. <laughs> and uh, that'll be better for the ribs anyway. Yeah. I think that'll hasten things up. I don't want to burn them. Oh wow wow wow. Well that'll heat them so up. So excited for the real food I can hardly stand it. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's hot. That's amazing. Ooh. Ooh. I still can't believe we did it. Yeah, that's good stuff. Good job, buddy. That's a, like a perfect spot. We might just do like one at a time. They on actually that. look a little more cooked when you grab them. Like they're firmer than I... Yeah, they're, they're getting there. I'm going to put a little more salt and pepper on them. I'll the pie. Well, we got soaking wet on uh, the first day hauling out the meat. We're, uh, we're making it though. We probably did a, I would guess we made it a third of the way out today. Would you guess that? Yeah. About a third of the way? Two more days. We're back in Anchorage. What is, back at Moose's too. Pizza and beer. Pizza and beer, the Kiwi says. <laughs> I'm, thinking, his mind. I'm thinking about halibut and salad. <laughs> <laughs>